It's that bully Dave. He's always causing trouble. Yeah, he acts really weird. <gasps> hey, give that ball back! Me, you sissy. You can't take that. It's mine. Not anymore. Give that back to us. You better shut up. I'll be glad if you stopped it. Look, it's Donovan Dignity. What's going on? Violence is harmful. When children fight, they hurt each other. So what? I have a very important story to share with you today. You do? Yes, I do. I hope you'll come to Babe's World and see. Just hop on your spaceship, the magic of your mind, and watch the magic happen. Dignity. Recovering Reggie. And Rhonda Rabbit. Here at Babe's World, Babe's World, it's a healthy place to be. Babe's World, come to Babe's World and be the best that you can be. So if you have a problem that you don't understand, just close your eyes, open your mind. And we'll lend a helping hand. Babe's World, Babe's World, your special place to be. solution in real life says who early bird is right myth mary oh goody new friends to play with that's unless myth mary tries to chop chop them first i'm bose this is my brother buttons and that's early bird and, and i'm myth mary everybody knows me the new kung fu president of babe's world Hi -ya, hi -ya. myth mary the children are here to hear a story. This is Brian, Heather, and... My name's Dave. You don't look so tough to me. Dave is a bully. Who asked you? I like to fight because I'm not scared. No one messes with me. Honk, honk! Donovan, remember the time Buttons and Bowles got into that fight? Yes, I do. It's a good story which teaches that when violence occurs, sad things happen. Everyone, gather around. It's story time. We'll be right back with our story. The name of today's story is Violence is Harmful. Once upon a time, in the little town of Pudding Heights, Buttons and Bows were playing a game. Okay, it's my turn. It is not. You just had your turn. Bose, give it back to me. It's mine and I want it. Now! Oh, stop your whining. When I'm through, you can have it. If you don't give it back to me, I'll... I'll... I'll whack you good. Oh, is that right? Ha! Huh. Na, 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 na. Now look what you've done. Me? It's all your fault. Oh, you're such a baby sometimes. I am not a baby. I'm going to tell on you. No, you are too, a whiny little baby. And you're not telling anything. Uh, uh, oh, stop! Uh, oh, oh, oh! Oh! Quit it! You're pulling my tail, you oh, fat oh, cat! Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, get off oh, me! You take that back! Hey! Let go of my hair! I will not! Oh, you can't oh, make me fat cat, oh, fat cat, fat cat! Oh, 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 you take it back. Say it. I am not fat. I, I won't. 
don't, I'm telling Dad, and then you're really gonna be in trouble. Oh, then I'm going to sit on you until you do take it back. Oh, oh. Come on, uh. come on, whiny baby, say it. Please, please, Bo. No, listen to you. Please, please, Bo. Ha! You're too whiny for me to play with. I'm leaving. I, I'm not a baby, but sometimes, sometimes the things I'm feeling inside when Bose and I argue and, and, and then she starts hitting me, I just want to cry. Why does she always go and hit me? What did I do to deserve this treatment? When will she learn that fighting is all wrong? When will she tell me she still loves me? When will we stop this silly fighting? When will she let me feel that I belong? When she hits me, I feel so mad. No one to turn to when I'm feeling sad. Why don't I get to tell my story? Why does she like to see me crying? Why does she always hit me when I'm feeling good? These are the things I never understood. So how's the little baby? I'm telling Dad on you. And then you're the one who's going to be a whiny baby. Is that right? Says who? Says me. Uh. Uh. What are you children doing? Get off me. Uh. Oh, hi. How long have you guys been here? Hey, Early Bird, Donovan, what's happening? Why don't you tell us? Uh, we were just, um, well, uh, playing a new game. Yeah, a game that hurts. It seems like you were fighting. Hong Kong, people who fight each other get hurt. I want you two to promise not to fight anymore when you disagree. Violence is not a game. It is very serious. OK, Donovan. Ow, meow. The game is broken. Miss Mary will be mad. <laughs> So you see, violence solves nothing and can only make things worse. I'll say. I think we even lost pieces of Myth Mary's game. Game? Ha! From now on, Myth Mary is my name and Kung Fu is my game. If Bowser Buttons had cha-chopped one another, someone would have got what they wanted. Hi-ya! I know, I saw it at the movies. Hong Kong, that is a myth, Myth Mary. Violence in movies and TV are just actors pretending it's not real. But, but I saw it. Me too. Early Bird is right. Movie and TV are make-believe for entertainment. Real violence causes real problems. The lady down the street says that if somebody gives you problems, the best thing to do is to kick the living daylights out of the person. Honk, 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 that is another myth. Myth Mary, people who use violence to solve problems usually get into serious trouble as a result. Right you are, Early Bird. Violence can be very harmful. What does the word violence mean, Donovan? Violence is when a lot of force or power or strength is used or happens and people and things are hurt and destroyed. I still don't think I really understand. Well, let me see if I can explain a different way. There's different kinds of violence I can tell you about. They all use force and power to extreme. They can hurt a person's body or their feelings too. Then there's violence to a person's property. No violence isn't good. No violence isn't good for anyone. There's a violence to a person.
weapon caused by guns and knives Are the weapons of destruction that can kill There's violence to one's feeling caused by words that might be said Or actions that could make somebody ill No violence isn't good No violence isn't good for anyone Well, there's violence to belongings to the things we own Smashing and destroying property It's never any good It always leads to something worse It's something to avoid, we all agree Well, no violence isn't good No violence isn't good for anyone So when people fight, sometimes they can break each other's things And they can hurt each other's bodies Violence is awful. Right you are. When we use violence to solve problems, it leads to more problems. Hi, everybody. What are you talking about? We're learning about the dangers of violence. Oh, that's important. I remember when I was in the Mad Dog Six gang, we always used violence to get what we wanted. Oh, using violence is definitely not okay to get what you want. But why do people have to fight and hit each other? Sometimes, Rhonda, people who are very angry on the outside are really just scared on the inside. What do you mean, Donovan? Sometimes people who try to hurt other people are scared. They do not know how to cope, and they need help. When I used to use alcohol and other drugs, I did a lot of mean things because I really didn't like myself. Why didn't you like yourself, Reggie? Because I didn't feel I was special, and I had lost hope. That's so sad, Reggie. It was sad, but I got help, and now I'm recovering with dignity, and I do not need to use violence anymore, because I value other people and myself. It's hard to understand why people would want to hurt each other. It sure is, Rhonda. Learning about the dangers of violence may not be as easy as one, two, three, but we do it. One, two, three, it's not as easy as one, two, three. To learn about violence. One, two, three, it's not as easy as one, two, three. But we can learn about violence. Step number one, peace begins with you. Step number two, it's not okay to hurt others. Step number three, if you are in danger, ask a parent, teacher, or someone you trust for help. One, two, three, it's not as easy as one, two, three. To learn about violence. One, two, three, it's not as easy as one, two, three. But we can learn about violence. I'm so glad I have all of you to share my feelings with. And remember, if your parents or any other person hurts you, tell someone until you get help. People who are violent need help, too. And violence usually does not solve problems. It just makes more problems. I repeat, if you need help, talk to a parent, teacher, or someone you trust. Rhonda and Donovan are right. Not being able to handle my temper got the best of me when I beat up buttons. I felt really bad afterward. I'll say, because Dad spanked her good. No, not just that, but on the inside, too. Well, it's hard to explain, but I never told anyone until now. I'm sorry, Buttons. Mm. Hi, Ziggity! I've got a great idea. What is it? Why don't we all try to get along? That's a wonderful idea, Myth Mary. I'm so proud of you. Oh, Myth Mary, you always know the right things. We'll be right back. We've learned a lot today. Right you are. Honk, honk, that's right. And even Myth Mary said that we should all try to get along. But I still want to break a board or something. Myth Mary, you need to practice before you. Yeah. Yo! Ouch, my hand. Oh, my hand. I think 
I broke it. Honk, honk, I told you, Myth Mary. People should not imitate dangerous violence they see on TV or in the movies. Oh, phooey. And I just bought this karate suit. Here, Ooh. let me take a look. I'm sorry I was mean to you. That's okay, just as long as you don't try to hurt us. Yeah, it's all right, as long as you try to be nice. Here's your ball back. Thanks. Donovan, sometimes I'm mean because I'm scared. No one wants to play with me. Understand, Dave. It can be scary when we think no one will play with us. But do you think being mean to someone will make them want to play with you? Well, no, but how will I know if they want to play with me? Do you think you could ask? Well, yeah, but what if they say no? They may say no, but that's okay. Everybody has a right to decide if they want to play or not. They do? Yes, Dave, they do. Has anyone ever wanted to play with you and you didn't want to play with them? Well, yeah. Dave, when someone doesn't want to play with you, it doesn't mean you're a bad person, just that they don't want to play with you. Now what are you going to do? Well, I guess I could ask Brian and Heather if I could play with them. And if they say no, what do you think you could do then? I guess I can find someone else to play with. May I play with you guys? Yeah, sure, just as long as you don't try to hurt us. We'll play with you too. You mean you'll all be my friends? Yes, indeedy. If Myth Mary were here, she'd say, a friend in need is a friend indeed. And having friends is important. But learning safe ways to live is important too. Right you are. Would you all like to learn some more healthy ways to be safe? Yeah, yeah. yippee, let's go. let's go. Then let's go to the Learning Center and find out. Let's all go to the Learning Center, the Learning Center, the Learning Center. Let's all go to the Learning Center and learn about living safely. <laughs> We'll be right back. Hey, where are we, Donovan? This is Safe City. But what do we do here? We learn ways to live and be safe. Here's Recovering Reggie to help. Hi, everybody. Come on, Reggie. Let's show them how to be safe and not use violence. OK. Don't be afraid to ask for help if Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. These are a couple of ways to protect yourself. If you want to stay out of fight, you got to stay on guard. Don't talk to strangers and stay away from deadly weapons. Fighting will get you nowhere. Will cause more problems. These are some more ways that you can protect yourself. If you want to sleep safe at night, you ought to stay on. Can you think of some other ways we can protect ourselves and stay safe? Always tell an adult or someone you trust if you need help. If someone wants to take your toys or clothing and you think they might hurt you, give them up. Especially if they have a knife or gun. Never walk alone. Don't talk to strangers, even if they offer you ice cream or new toys. Never take money from strangers. Right you are. Those are all very important ways to stay safe. And try to stay away from places where alcohol or other drugs are. And if you can't, talk to a counselor, teacher, or another person you trust. Gee, Miss Mary, how's her hand? Honk, honk, she's fine. It's a bruise, but she should be very careful for a few days. So, 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 did I miss the party? 
There will always be time for fun in Babe's World, Myth Mary. Yeah, but what do I do with this karate suit I bought? I can't take it back. Well, I think Early Bird can think of something. Right you are. I thought you'd never ask. Come on, everybody. It's time to babes or size. <laughs> so, so, so. What kind of babes or size are we having today? Well, step to the right, then back to the left. Turn around, touch your feet, and listen to that awesome beat. <laughs> Myth Mary, you just be careful with your hand. Ready? Let's go. What's the world got little of? What goes along with love? It's peace, and it's so true that peace begins with you. Make a friend of everyone. Put away that knife and gun. It's time to start anew, and peace begins with you. Let's have peace. Let violence cease. was the best early bird. Well, flying tortillas, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> it's great that we've all got a part in making the world a better place. Yeah, and if you just try, you can make new friends. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, yeah, we've had a great time today, and we've sure learned a lot about the dangers of violence. Right you are. Don't forget, if you ever need a friend to talk to, you can always come visit us here in Babe's World. Jumpin' Walnuts, look at the time. We'd better say so long. We have some other good friends visiting us today in Babe's World. Come on over here, kids. Bye. Bye. See y'all later, okay?